Welcome back to Dexter Plays Vintage Story. Welcome back to the return. We're in here uh, continuing on with a bunch of work in the shop. I just finished up working on all the iron balloons. I still had to hammer out the ingots. I also hammered out all the blistered steel in his steel. So we now have 21 steel ingots and 64, 22, 70, 80, 86 iron. Quite a bit of bars. So I'm pretty happy with that. I also made uh, eight more copper lanterns. I already placed four of them around. We'll place the other four here shortly. I'm still working on setting up for the armor tutorial. That's probably going to take me the longest that I have ever spent doing stuff in this damn game. Setting up for that armor tutorial. It's crazy. I have jugs over here. And I want to make one. So hang with me here while we make one last jug. Because we're going to be dealing with wine and brandy and stuff like that today. So jugs can be used to store your beverages. Uh, so we'll be, uh, we'll have, the wine is ready. And we're going to use that wine to convert most of it into various harder, harder alcohols like uh, brandy. You remember how to do all these, the uh, normal pottery. There we go. Pottery done. For a second there, I thought I saw a hand or a head come through there. Weird. These you can cook up four at a time. Remember, you put on some gla glass. Let's put on some glass. Some sticks. And your choice of burnable material. Firewood takes 24 hours. Heat takes 18. So if you're impatient like me, you'll do this and you'll light that puppy up. There we go. So those two are doing the same thing of what I just did, and they've been cooking for a little while. Hopefully, they'll be ready before we uh, get in there and start working. Next, uh, one of the things I'm going to need in the armor tutorial upstairs is a lot of leather. This is my leather working station. I got the borax, the weak tannin, the, the strong tannin. Um, I can use more bor some more uh, borax stuff for soaking hides. One. It'll take five, two, three, four, and five. And there, there, there's five. Uh, we need 20 borax that's crushed. The uh, borax, I believe we can grind in the grinder upstairs, the, the quern. So I'll go get your borax and do that, but you'll, you won't be able to do borax until you have, I think, copper or bronze. I think you need bronze, actually, to get the borax. All right, so then I have a set of a borax barrel. The borax barrel will, would you put in some some hides, like this one here. If I take this hide, I'm going to use the one that's partially empty. Uh, let's do it this way so I can see all of the things at the same time. I'll take the raw hide and put it in there, and then you just click seal. It'll tell you over here, seal. It'll pop close. Take your soaked hide, take a knife, scrape it clean. Now you have a scraped hide. Put it in here for the moment. Then you'll have weak tannin, which is just a bunch of water with five oak in it to soak. We'll take that out. And I want to put in, I'll take these two, two hides right here. Seal it, and it will become the next set of hides, like this. Then, you put it into strong oak tannin, and let it soak, and it'll come out as leather. Yay, we're done. Uh, it looks like, yeah, I'm empty here. Five. 
Going to the tanning ingredients. Open that up. One, two, three, four, five. Close it. Seal it. That'll become weak tannin. Once the, that pops open, I'll do it again and I'll make it strong tannin. All right, so that's the leather process. I put my leather in there, but actually I, I'm story, I was storing it upstairs, but I'll put it in here for now. We'll work on that a bit more later. I also believe I have... Yep, I've got some radishes down. Due to what? Heat. I got... You're ready. Pop you up. You guys are going to take a while. And, whoop! Nope, those aren't ready yet. I can see because they're blue instead of white and or yellow. Uh, oh, wait. I'm doing radishes right now. There you go. More radishes. Put those radishes away. And next. All right. So, now we're in here. The next thing I want to do as part of our uh, dist dist distillation process, I put in my one of my lights in here, uh, is we're going to want to go through here. So if we take a look, this is done. You can see up at the top from the center, it says barrel contents, five liters of red currant wine. This is cranberry wine, blueberry wine, black currant wine. Everything's been consolidated. Uh, let's grab a bucket. No, let's grab the boiler plate. So we're going to make a boiler plate. Five copper plates, iron bar, solid, uh, and solder bars. Iron, solder iron and bars. Okay, so let's let's take all this out. This is going to be one followed by two, two. Solder and an iron. Bing. Very good. So we will place that guy right down there. Next is a condenser. It's going to just take two plates and the same iron and solder. Two singles, solder, iron more aligned, condenser. Next, like that. Okay. I I wonder. Can I arrange this? I can. <laughs> you actually don't have to set it up to look like that. It'll work next to each other. I'm going to set both of these guys back one more. All right, so, uh, boiler, back one more. I think I'm back one, aren't I? I can't tell. If I'm not back one, oh well. All right, and then turn, and there we go. It wants some tinder. I got some tinder. I got your tinder right there. And I want some fuel. So I need to go get some firewood. I'm going to leave... The soldering iron and solder down here. Let's go get some firewood. I need firewood for so many things. You need it for campfires, for pit fires, for fire kilns, for the, just to start the charcoal pit. You need it for uh, the stove, the boiler. I mean, uh, Jesus. Armor. <laughs> you even need it for armor. All right. All right, so it's ready. Carry on, load all that. Let's stick this up here. Wow, did I really take that much? I did, didn't I? Can I? No, I'll have to go back behind it and do it. That's fine. And one more stack. I think I can use some in the cook, in the kitchen. I can use some in the kitchen. So we'll just catch up with all our firewood. Chores. Chores everywhere. I don't know, man. I I, I, I can't handle all the chores. <laughs> and there's the last of that food. <sighs> okay. Not I'm full. Go back into the boiler room. And we'll grab a bucket. 
here. And we will take cranberry wine. One. Can I put more than 10 in there? Yes. How about more than 10? 25. Okay, so that's all of the cranberry wine. We're all gone? Yep, we're all gone. Let's go ahead and uh, take this bucket. We're going to put it right down there. And then light. No problem putting firewood right next to a fire. No big deal. It's all right. It's all good. So now what's going to happen is this is going to get up to boiling temperature. And it's going to boil that cranberry wine. And once it starts going, the condenser will condense it into something down in here. Got an empty bucket. See when that starts to go down. We'll see the first the 25 liters drop. What point does it go down? Is it, oh, there it goes. See, it's 2.48. 2.48. And now if I look down in the bucket, I get cranberry brandy. Cool. We are cranking already. Keep in mind, I do have some juice in here, don't I? Wine. 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 No, I drank the juice. I must have drank the juice. Okay. So we're going to let that cook for a second. Let's go ahead and put some... Uh, some these out here so I did lit up, light up down there I also lit up uh, the goat pen so I've got one over there one there and one there so that was a total of four with the other four that I just had makes all of them let's go grab a couple pieces of dirt so I can get up on the fence Back. Parkour, not my thing. Speaking of which, seen some dying light playthrough stuff. A lot of parkour. And the storyline is actually. I'm having issues. Um, it's like they, you know, no, let, how, how can we how can we manufacture a situation where he has to be here? Let's let's put him in this situation and we'll just call it for the for, for this reason. And it's just like, oh my god, people, really? Okay. Can you get me up here? You might. I think I'll put one on top of the uh, door. Whoa! I just had a I just had a jump scare. <laughs> oh, I see. He threw a rock at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, how'd you get to me? God damn it! So now that we've got that lit up some more. I hopefully will impact the potential spawning of all those critters. Dirt, put it away. And we'll go down here and check our brandy. We're still cruising. 0.43 liters of brandy. Yeah, look at that, that beautiful red brandy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whiskey's my thing, Jack, actually. I'm a whiskey drinker. And excellent. I was hoping we'd have jugs before we got too far. Come on. Go. Can I just dip it in there? No. What if I do this? Can I do this? No! Damn it! No! 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 Oh! Ah! No! What the hell? Game! Stop! I was just trying to experiment, and you... No! <laughs> what, what do I have in here? Do I... Can I see? Randy is in there. 0.5 liters. And what about over here? I have solid ground, goddammit. Okay. 
Did I take it out of here? I think I did. I did. Oh man, I am so bent. Wait, I'm missing a I'm missing a jug. Is there a jug in there? There is a jug in there. Damn it. Why can't I see the jug? Alright, so I shouldn't be panicking so much. Panic, 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 panic. There we go. Is it full? Wait, three liters? Point two. It's empty. I'm going to put this in there. Play around. All right, so I can keep, I can pour jugs in. I can take jugs out. Uh, you full? I think you are, right? Sorta. Okay, I am not comfortable. I'm all kinds of not comfortable right now with doing the jug thing at the moment. I don't know how much the jug can handle. So we'll put that back in there. Okay. I got 0.9 liters. So I can put... Alright. Pour it back and forth. I feel like a kid. You know, first grade kid doing the pour job. You know, you go you go in there and you, you got to pour the water from one thing to the other. I'm, I'm doing that right now. How are we doing there? Um, I still have I still have six liters to process. All right, well let's go somewhere else. I'm gonna leave this here. Um, I hear guys outside, but is it is it still dark out? It's daylight. It's it's, it's becoming daylight. Good enough. Do you guys have anything? Nope. You're all empty. Okay, these are all out here for me to pick. Uh, and the reason I say that, we get some height, give you a good view of my my vineyard, Dexter's Vineyards. Come on by. We do wine tasting every Sunday. So here's my vineyards. We could go too far. So this is going to be uh, cranberry. I'm fully loaded on that. Blueberries. I think I need about nine more. Blackberry is fully loaded, or a uh, black raspberry current. Red current is there, not quite full. I'm still finding more. White current is, is like really rare. So um, I got six of that, which is kind of nice, but that's about all I have. I have three more for uh, future stuff that I find. I'm, I got my world uh, updates, a couple updates ago, one or two updates ago. The world had a variety of fruit trees and things added. Um, they won't be in any place you've already discovered. So this map right now, I won't have it. I have to go outside of this map to find those things. And then I can bring them back and add them into my map. Okay, here, no, the wind's died down. That's expected. Like I said, there's my work on my uh, armor stuff. I don't know if we'll make it there before I move on. I want to do teleport transport translocation as well. The, the, I want to go fix that translocation and go see where it goes. But that's going to be an issue. All right, let's go over here while it's cooking downstairs. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm so bad. Okay. Gotcha. With the stone throwing, you've got to strafe now, rather than just popping in and out. It'd be quite challenging. All right, let's... I am going to go ahead and take care of all of these. I'm going to harvest them all up. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit, so I'm probably going to just accelerate through this. Or what I'll do is I'm going to cut to the end, and we'll come back and see what I've got. 
All right, well, we finished, and I have quite a bit of blueberries and black currant and red currant and a little bit of yellow currant and a bunch of cranberry. So uh, we should have quite uh, enough of a collection to start a rather large batch of wine. In the meantime, are you done? You are done. Let's see how much I have. 0.29 liters. Let's grab that. Put it in there. 1.19 liters. Awesome. With, nope. There we go. I need another bucket. Damn it. Can I, uh, more buckets. Damn it. I need another bucket. You, give me your bucket. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? I got, well, we'll do this. You. It says it's cold. It's cooking. Okay. Now let's grab the, the, uh, actually, do I have more? I do have more red currant, which I can stick there. Blackberry currant, I could top that off and have some extras. Good. Cranberries, I can have some extras of. That's awesome. Cranberry, some more extras. Even better. And we will put that away later. Alright, what's first? The animation didn't happen. But the squeezing is going, so I'm going to leave it alone. Oh, I got to light it again? Okay. We'll go through that. Do another couple of batches of this. You are empty. And it's stuck again at 0.89 liters. I hate it when it does that. Waste, waste, waste. I'm not gonna let me do it with my toes. Squishy, squishy with my toes. Wait through this to go through. I can see maybe making a second press. I don't feel like the press takes long enough that having multiple presses is really going to be worthwhile unless you've got yourself uh, some kind of insane amount of bushes. I mean, geez, I guess then it could make, make sense. Here we go again. I have to play games over there. Um, 16 is the smallest amount, I believe. It's getting close to being done. No, 16 won't work. You can't do 16? I guess you can do 16. Okay. Are you done yet? Just about. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this bucket. Actually, you are done. 0.27, you're empty. What do we have left over here? We've got blueberry wine.
that wine there. All right, now that we got that cooking, what's next? Black currant. All right, so now I can play with this. Before I do, I need to go grab myself some jugs. Empty. They can let me do that. Okay. Oh, I see it because it's not. Yeah. All right. That's what I'm looking for. So I've got on the ground, I got cranberry and red currant, and that's empty. And so that's all I can do. So if I open this up, you can see it says I can turn it into if I seal it. Which I will. If I look in here, I can't. It's just juice. Yay. So I can take that and put it out in front of here like this. In fact, I'll put it in front of this one. Are you coming along? You're coming along fine. Good. And I got my cranberry juice. Okay. I had to go through and press it again. Well, I think that's what we're going to be doing here for a little while. I'm going to be doing more, more, more wine. I'm creeping through the shadows and the corners of your mind. I go with the windows. I run, but I don't hide. Yeah.